Hello, my name is Norman Taylor and I'm in the visitor's car park in Gatehouse of Fleet and we're just about to head over to the Mill in the Fleet where I've got my photographic exhibition on show and it's called Flower Power but more of that later. I was born in Belfast and lived all my life there until I eventually came to live in Dumfries and Galloway Gatehouse of Fleet in 2001. But during that course of time in Belfast, uh, I was interested in photography since I was about 13. And I got my first camera then, uh, about 1957, and it's a brownie box camera, which I still have. Uh, I spent my life surrounded by the beautiful Beaver Park Forest, which is just in the outskirts of Belfast, and eventually got to work there, uh, which was an absolute pleasure. At one stage, uh, they wanted to uh, put a, an enormous road uh, right through the forest and I, I formed a group called Friends of Beaver Forest and we campaigned to stop this road and eventually after six, seven years we succeeded in doing that. After that stage, it was then that I came to get House of Fleet in 2001 and so since then I've been working at my photography and various things. It was about 2006 that my eyesight really started to deteriorate. Well, this uh, picture here, as you can see, is divided into four sections, and it was something in my mind that I, I would like uh, that I would like to do, uh, uh, but I didn't think it would be possible. So uh, I approached my friend who does some printing for me. Ken Smythe and I talked it over with Ken and Ken put it on his Apple Mac computer and was able to, to do this and has turned this out. Now this particular image is a photograph that I shot right into the, the, uh, the center of the flower of a poppy and that's what it is and that's the, the seed heads with the pollen and then the, you've, got the different, uh, you've got the different shapes of the petals there. The poppy itself is backlit with the sun and that's what creates all these different hues of the same color in the background. Um, and I, I wanted to do this to have a big picture to create uh, an impact because uh, I think sometimes the exhibitions, there's just too many uh, frames which can make the exhibition maybe a bit mundane. And I'm really pleased with this picture. So it's thanks to Ken Smythe that we actually were able to produce this. These particular pictures here, the four of them, are one of the first ones that I did when I started to photograph the flowers. And I, I wanted to do something that was, that was completely different uh, to most other uh, flower exhibitions. I didn't want it to be like a flower catalogue with the, the beautiful uh, rose and, and etc. So I was interested just what else was happening in the flowers. And if you take this one, for instance, this poppy, that's shooting right into another poppy seed head. So you get the, the beautiful seeds, the colors and the shapes and the textures uh, of this. And, and I thought that's something that a lot of people don't see because over the years, uh, most gardeners have been brainwashed that when a flower starts to decay, they deadhead it and throw it away. And I just thought there was absolutely wonderful beauty in some of the decomposition uh, of the petals etc as they were decaying and so that's what a lot of my pictures are about that's poppy uh, this is a lily that one's another lily and this is a, a little plant looks a bit like uh, of the thistle family called eryngium and that's uh, it's a very special plant because uh, at certain times it's uh, it's actually a blue bluish shape to it, bluish colour. Uh, I took a lot of time over these photographs to, to get them to that stage. Um, people have been asking me how I do this uh, with the, to eradicate, eradicate uh, the, the background sort of noise of the, uh, of the vegetation that would be there in the background. <coughs> and that's done with my um, Canon SLR 450D camera and a 300 lens, uh, uh, which will only focus 
at approximately five feet away from the subject. So once I do that and have the aperture at a, at a, a six or a seven on the aperture of the camera, I, I can focus directly onto the subject and usually eradicate most of the background. And that's how I get this particular effect. These two pictures here uh, are, are interesting because once again, this one at the top, this is another poppy. I just love poppies. Uh, I think just with the back of the sun, etc., there's absolutely wonderful uh, different effects that are obtained. And I really like that, that particular poppy there. Uh, this particular one uh, I, I really like as well. And this is actually uh, a black tulip uh, with the flowers just starting to decay and the little seed head here in the center. It just looks like white chocolate. And uh, I just wanted to do this to get that particular effect with the, with the petals just slightly decaying with this sort of reddish tinge to them. These two would be probably two of my favorites uh, in, the, in the exhibition. This particular picture here, I wanted this a large one as well because this is one that I was very enthusiastic about. This is a pink poppy, which once again is backlit with the sun and I was able to, uh, to get the background diffused to this darkness. Now once again, the poppy itself is backlit with the sun and this is how we get all the different shades in it and the lines and then they've got these various uh, of the little probably turn into the seed heads on it. This is probably one of the most popular uh, images in the, whole, in the whole exhibition. This particular display here with the pictures in the green frames I'm particularly excited about because we've got uh, lilies and poppies uh, and this is a particular one that I really like. It's just the, the way the flowers, and I think the flowers got a little bit of rain sitting on the top, uh, which is nice uh, to get after the rain. Well, as I was wondering about the garden, trying to figure out what next to photograph, I came across this. This is actually a red tulip uh, where the flowers were just, the petals were just about to fall off. And I looked at it through the, the long lens in the camera and suddenly realized there were all these wonderful, beautiful colors, different colors and shapes in it. Uh, and I, I set the camera on the tripod and eventually took this, this photograph uh, of the seed head with the little uh, shapes in it there with the various colors. Uh, and I think to a certain degree, it's quite an abstract uh, image. And um, uh, just the, with the various shades of red and the yellows, I thought it made a, an absolutely wonderful uh, picture. Uh, this would be one of my favorites as well. We'll finally come to the end of the exhibition. And we've got these two beautiful pictures here of Iris's but the, these two pictures here uh, are I'm extremely interested in, and that's another another poppy where I've shot right into the seed head. But this is a really nice one here that I really liked. This is the this is a rose where I shot right into the rose because I just thought the different folds and the colour of the shapes and the shadows uh, in the rose were were quite exciting. Uh, and so there it is on the wall, just the the way I took the picture. Well, <clears throat> since I've been living in Gatehouse of Fleet, I've had three different uh, exhibitions of different collections of my work. The first one was an exhibition of pictures that I'd taken through a lifetime of photography here in the mill in the fleet. And the next one then was the first exhibition on the shed, which went around quite a few other areas. The shed went from Gatehouse of Fleet to the RNIB, in Edinburgh, uh, Belfast, and then back to Gracefield and Dumfries and Tolbooth. 
Um, and now in the Mill in the Fleet where my first exhibitions in Gatehouse started, I've got the Flower Power exhibition, uh, which uh, I'm really pleased with. When my eyesight went down, uh, my pal from Northern Ireland introduced me to a digital camera which had a three inch screen on the back. And I got excited at this because I was able to see the shapes. And I got myself a digital camera with a three inch screen and progressed from there. Since then, technology has greatly improved until the stage now where we've got this 10 inch tablet, which I think is absolutely tremendous.